So one time in Batman camp, I uh, didn't get to be Batman because someone named Jim showed up and uh, had a bunch of incidents on record, ready to go. That made me ineligible to get companies as early as 1997. And I never defended myself because I got murdered in the Air Force. I, I always thought I should have been dead as a person because I did get murdered in the Air Force in Mississippi. A whole bunch, I think. But I know for sure one time, all night long. And I only woke up when the body bag came. I saw the body guys carrying a body bag, so I, I woke up real quick. I didn't want to get thrown in a body bag, so I just got up and then I took off. I stared at myself in the mirror for a couple minutes. Couldn't believe what had happened. Um, what's the point? The point is that the Air Force would always ask me, are you okay, everything fine? How's everything, any, any problems? And I'd be like, everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. And then in 1999, December, uh, when it was time to get out, they're like, okay, we want you to re-enlist. We're gonna give you $45,000 just to re-enlist. And I said, nope, sorry. And they go, why? And I was like, I still never told anyone about that incident until like maybe five or six years ago. And I was like, oh, I just want to go, I just want to go work in the civilian world. And that was because a bunch of things happened to me in Denver during my time off of work. It continued to happen. But what I believe those were were incidents. So we can use my playbooks, my playbacks to see who's doing it. Because I've always been afraid of my life to tell anyone about these things. Because I, I thought it was the government, but I think it was Jim with the satellite company. For example, uh, he needed me to have a problem with pills, right? I would take these trucker pills before work. And I also worked with a guy that's Elvis. That, he looks like the guy that's Elvis, you know? I'm pretty sure that's who that master sergeant was. He was I don't know what his name was, but he would always come up to me and be like, John? How are you, John? So he knew me from before. It was El the guy that shows up on, on in the rock music industry as, as Elvis. I, I really think that's who he was. Or Johnny Cash or someone, I don't know. Anyways, the point is, is Johnny Cash, I think, was my drill sergeant. The point is, is that during my off time, things would happen to me. So like, I would take trucker pills, it's no big deal. And since I was my boss, he didn't even care because I was perfect on them. And they're they're over the counter, by the way. It's nothing more than like ephedrine or something. And one of the times I took them on Sixth Avenue and the 70 Freeway. Uh, it was Sixth Avenue and 70 Freeway. I was intersection. There's 7-Eleven there. I walked in there. I got my trucker pills. I took them, and then I was gonna go. As soon as I took them, I got in my truck. I I took a left, I took a right, I went to the red light, pointing uh, west on 6 towards like downtown Denver at the red light. I'm sitting there, all of a sudden something comatose, literally like boom. So I think they shot me with a satellite weapon or something, really high power. And then I, I fell down and then I woke up on the steering wheel my car was going into the intersection. I pulled myself up, I drove through it. Freaked out, I realized I totally knew I got shot. I, this is the stuff I didn't tell the Air Force about. So I lived again. I totally think I probably died a little bit, and then I drove off. I was freaked out. I drove to the mall, I took a left, and went about a mile to the left, and there was a mall over there. And I was just trying to get my bearings, and I was driving, and then someone, then someone started messing with me, honking at me. So I, I fucking went ballistic. I like honk on, fuck you, fuck you. Is that just happening? And then I got worried. I'm like, oh, I have a top secret clearance. I can't do that. And then I drove off. Um, so I think that happened. It happened again. Driving to uh, leave on leave. I was going home, and I got shot from the front left and back right of my bumper on a snowy icy road. At the same time, another high-powered weapon, just like that, because all of a sudden my truck just went into a spin. And I heard the thumps, I heard the, the hits, the shots hit my truck. And my truck went into a spin out of control on a snowy, icy road with a cliff like 90, mi 90 feet down in the icy river, like just 10 feet away to the right. 
and I corrected it. The playback will show how good of a gosh darn uh, 007 agent I, I would be. I totally corrected it and, and, and pulled out of it. And then, what else? Um, that's just two more times. Uh, a lot of shit happened. So because of that, because I knew specifically I was getting shot with satellite weapons, I didn't know what to do, so I didn't re-enlist. But now that I think about it, in retrospect, I, I've always been, I, there's still things I haven't told you guys about, like in Europe I almost got assassinated. I don't bring that up because I don't want to fuck with Europe. I won't talk about it. I'm not gonna get anyone in trouble in Europe right now to need their help. I don't, I'll, I'll, I'll dismiss the whole incident, I don't care. Whatever. So anyways, um, no, it really happened. Like a rifle and everything in my head. So anyways, um, where do we go from here? Oh, Jim, I think these guys used that against me. Like I think they said, John is a loose cannon. Look, he went to the 7-Eleven, got trucker pills, and then here he is, 10 minutes later, screaming at them all. And they bypassed the whole, he got shot in the head and comatose and, and, and was knocked out for about 15 seconds at the intersection before he woke up. So it's, it's, it's just like that that I, I just decided are probably why this has lasted so long. And every single incident he would use against me, I had a top secret clearance. I didn't do anything that would take a top secret clearance away from me. Since 1996, period. So whatever it is, it's a bullshit lie or he's only showing you a part of the playback and the, the true story isn't being shown. Thank you, bye. John Mark, have a nice day.